This week on Road to the White House, Fred Thompson headlines a Republican fundraiser in Virginia. The former Tennessee senator is expected to formally enter the presidential race in early July, with an announcement around the July 4th holiday in his home state. Last month, he tested the waters in California, where he spoke before the Lincoln Club of Orange County. Senator Thompson set up an exploratory committee on Friday in order to start raising money for the presidential campaign. Next, from Richmond, Senator Thompson at a Virginia Republican Party fundraiser. Thank you very much. I'd say don't embarrass me, but I'm not that easily embarrassed, to tell you the truth. Thank you so much for that uh, warm welcome, and thank you, Ed, for that introduction. If I'd known you'd said all those nice things about me in that book, I would have bought it and read it. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a great book, and uh, Ed Gillespie is not only the best political mind that I know, he's one of the very best human beings that I know, and I'm delighted to call him my friend, and we're lucky to have him where he is today. <clears throat> You know, some folks were nice enough to say welcome to Virginia, and I pointed out to them, man, I'm a resident of Virginia now. I've, uh, Jerry and I, <laughs> been doing a lot of work up this way, did the TV show in New York, and uh, did, the, did the Paul Harvey stuff in Washington. Uh, but we're, uh, we got a little work to do up that way, have y'all noticed? Well, we've established a beachhead, so y'all come on in behind us up there. We're going to work up there. <clears throat> All this enthusiasm tonight, you folks act like you've never lost an election, and I, I don't think you're ever going to lose another one, to tell you the truth. Thank you for that. <clears throat> thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you're doing. I want to thank, first of all, my good friend George Allen for that nice note that, uh, that he sent. Uh, welcoming Jerry and me, and uh, I want to tell you that as uh, one of the first acts of my citizenship of the Commonwealth of Virginia was voting for George Allen, and I just wish I could have done more. <clears throat> I've got to recognize my former colleague John Warner also, who I've known for many years and have great respect for. John and I are just reminiscing a little bit. Uh, over the fact that he and I have fought a few battles together, a few of us, kind of lonely souls. We didn't think it was a good, good idea to be exporting uh, all of this sensitive nuclear technology to China. That was kind of an unpopular idea at the time, but I think a few people have come around uh, since that time, and I'm proud of the fights that John and I have fought together, and uh, I wish him uh, all, all the best. I want to thank Virginia for a lot of things, and not the least of which is Sam Houston, one of my heroes. He, uh, <laughs> he left as a small boy and with his mama and traveled to Tennessee. I'm not sure kind of why he did that, a thing like that, but, uh, but he did, and uh, Tennessee was all uh, the better for it. Folks, uh, I've met so many people here today, the, uh, state legislature where the, the action is, where the rubber meets the road, local officials who are doing so much for the party and have labored in the vineyards for so long. I want to tell you how much I appreciate you all and what you're doing and what you're doing for the party and what you're doing uh, for your country. Uh, uh, I always knew that there were some folks out there who appreciated what I tried to do on the cause of federalism as they were trying to arrogate more and more power to the, to the federal level. And I kept trying to point out that, you know, we've been doing this on the state level, on the local level, for 200 years, and I don't see a constitutional amendment, and we ought to keep doing it at the state and local level. <laughs> My idea is when the federal government starts getting it right, we might give them something else to do. So, uh, appreciate what you're doing. I, uh, I've enjoyed my time since the Senate. Um, and I enjoyed my time in the Senate, um, sometimes. People ask me why I left the Senate, and I always say that after eight years in Washington, I long for the realism and sincerity of Hollywood. <laughs> uh, 
But I got to admit one thing. Uh, before I got out of the business, we filmed, we filmed it some time ago, but they've just recently ran it on HBO uh, on a special, uh, Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee, where uh, I played President Ulysses Grant. And uh, I want to apologize to Richmond as well as everybody in Tennessee. 